guys welcome back to my channel i am sam here it is still um wednesday february 17th but you probably won't see this to maybe thursday february 18th so um yeah today is gonna be a true story and i thought about it and I'm like, yeah, I'm definitely going to be doing this one. So, it's in, it, it's interesting me doing some of the true stories because I don't normally like a lot of them. But some, I will do some that I really do like. Like this story, for instance. I really liked it and I also watched the show. So, that's also why I'm doing this one. So... Okay. Just gotta finish this section. Up oh, first. Okay, so this is a true story of Piper Eraser Kerman. Now, if you watched Orange in the News Black, this is her story. This is actually what happened to her in real life and you know and the show is amazing i don't know if there's orange and the new black fans out there but there probably are but if you are, are some that watch my channel please let me know because i am a huge fan of that show mom and i my well, mom started watching it first and then she kind of got me into it and I really liked it. So this is about her story and what really happened. So, yeah. I'm just going to finish two of this number and then I can go on to another. Hey. Right. Okay. Um... Is working on three eight two six. Where is that? Where did that go? Oh, right here. Okay. Why three oh one? Okay, Piper Arisa Kerman, born on September 28, 1969, is an American author who was in, addicted in 1998 of charges of uh, foolishness and uh, laundering activities and sentenced to 15 months in a detention in a federal correctional facility of which she eventually served 13 months her memoir of her prison experience orange is the new black my year in a woman's prison was adapted into the netflix original comedy drama series orange is the new black which is true it, like like i just said you know it was about her life and that's why she she did it. And she also directed the show too. For like she like she did everything. Um, since leaving pr prison, Kerman spoke widely about women, about women in prison, and about her own experience. She now works at a uh, community, 
communication strategist of, for nonprofit organizations. In 1993, Carmen became rom rom she became romantically involved with Catherine Cleary Walters, Nora Jensen, and her member Laura. Crepson, a character of Alex Foss in the series, a heroin de dealer working for an aligned Nigerian N I G E R I A N kinpin, and Kerman laundered money for the drug operation. I've read both books and I really liked it. I don't know if anyone else read their books, but, um, their books are really good. I should get back into reading. Like, I don't know why I just kind of fell out of the phase of reading. Like, even when I relax in the bath, I usually like to read. And I haven't really read a lot lately. I started reading my new, uh, my cousin's book, but that's just pretty much about it. Um... But yeah, anyways, anywho, they're good books. Seeing if there's any more lies. Oops. Yes, there is. Okay. Um, okay. Okay, yeah. In 1998, she was uh, indicted for the money, for money, lo uh, laundering, or laundering, and drug traffic it and she pl uh, plead guilty um starting in 2004 she served 13 months of a 15 month sentence in fci at fci danbury uh minimum security prison located in uh danbury connecticut um during her sentence uh, she built her website, The Pipe Bomb, to, go to document her life behind bars. Kerman's best-selling memoir about her experience in prison, Orange is the New Black, My Year in a Woman's Prison, was published by Spiegel and Brew, G-A-U, on April 6, 2010, a television Adaption was the same, created by Jenya Cohan, or whatever. The Enemy Award, the creator of Weeds, premiered on July uh, 11th, uh, 2013 on Netflix, aired for seven seasons. Kerman's character in the series, Piper Chapman, is played by Taylor Sh uh, Schilling. Orange is the New Black has received critical acclaim and won four awards. Um, Kerman says, I am bisexual and so I am part of the gay community and, and LGBT 
class. She came out at the age of 18 and identified as her as herself I mean herself as a lesbian during most of her youth. On May two uh twenty oh, sorry, meh, meh, on May twenty first, two thousand six, Kerman married a uh, teacher's writing class at the um uh, Moran Correctional Institution in the Ohio Oh, sorry, she forgot. I forgot to say who she married. She married Larry Smith. And, um, at, in the Ohio Reformatory for Women in a nearby Marysville, Ohio. So, yeah, that is it. I know it's a short video, but, um, like I said, I really wanted to do that one. And, um, it's just... A really good story and I really like the show I like um, I, of course I like Piper and Alex um, I also like TC I felt really sorry for her you know like near the end um, I, I like uh, Washington to say Washington that that was like oh that really made me cry like seeing that death in that show One is now done. I'm hoping to get it done by this week, but um, I'm in no rush. I just I I like doing it, you know. And like I said, too, with diamond painting, there is no rush. Honestly, it's just taking your time and enjoying it and enjoying the relaxation it brings. And I, I want to shut off my comments, too. Like, I'm getting, like, this guy he keeps posting like this links on my video too uh, I like I'm literally able to shut off my comments but I just don't know how to do that and I told him to stop commenting on my page because this is more than once he's done it and I'm sick and tired of it so yeah stop commenting on my page because then you're just ruin gonna ruin it for everyone else who can likes commenting on my page. So knock it the hell off. But I think that's about it. <laughs> like I said, I know it's a short video, and it's just, I really wanted to address that too. So like, I don't know why he comments on it. I just really find him uncomfortable and it just really nerve-wracking that people do that and it's just like he's just commenting links and stuff on my video and it's like no 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 so like I said enough but uh yeah well, anyways, I'm going to let you guys go, and hopefully I'll do one tomorrow too, but if not, you'll have this one, so, yeah. Bye, guys.